Good evening. Um, today I just want to share from Ezek I don't know, Exodus 33, 18 and 19. And the Lord was, was speaking unto Moses and and Moses said, I beseech you, show me your glory. And the Lord said, he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before you and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. He says, I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And I just thought that this was interesting. Um, it's spoken about again in Romans 9, but um, the Lord, this is, this is what he says about himself whenever Moses is asking to see his glory. And the Lord tells him this right here. I'm going to make my goodness pass before you. I'll proclaim the name of the Lord before you. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. And I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And at the end of the day, this is the greatest mystery, I would say. You know, we're, what he's saying right here, I'll, I'll be gracious to whoever I want to be gracious, and I'll have mercy on whomever I will have mercy on. It's the greatest debate in the church, you know, Calvinism and, and free will, and just understanding what, that statement even means um but i feel like i feel like we really need to understand that how important you know how important it is to understand that our faith in god is based on him speaking to us and giving us faith and drawing us out and having mercy on us um, so we see that we believe because we were of these people that God had chosen to have mercy upon. But what's, what's hard to understand is when you see yourself and you see other people who seem maybe even to be better than yourself, yet they've hardened their heart towards the Lord. So there's a balance. Um... Or there's a place where we just have to surrender our understanding and, and, and know that the Lord has a divine plan and purpose and He sees beyond anything that we can see. And when He chooses to have mercy on someone, there's a purpose for that and a good purpose, a good reason. Um, and if He hardens someone's heart, or allows them to be hardened. It's it, there. It's it's his divine purpose. There's nothing else that could have been done, you know. And we don't know if anyone's going. We don't know if people are going to turn. You know, you never know when someone's going to turn. You never know, just because you see somebody now and they're 50 years old, and you think, man, they're too old. They'll never get saved. They might get saved when they're 72, you know. I mean, I don't think we really know, but but I just want to think about how interesting it is that God, when he talks about his glory to Moses, he mentions that I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and whom I will harden, I will harden. And, and you know, because we see David, this person that God had mercy on, through all the things that he did. And then you see other people in the Bible who did similar things and, and did not receive the same mercy. And it's God's love, you know? He, not saying he doesn't love everyone, but there are some people that have like this special place in God's heart that he continues to have mercy on them and forgive but and that's you <laughs> because you wouldn't have faith in him if he hadn't drawn you and had mercy on you amen